Yeah, g'day scrappers. Uh, just wanted to talk about um, uh, SIM cards today um, and uh, sort of uh, dispel a couple of myths about SIM cards that um, about the gold recovery. Um, obviously a, a SIM card has uh, has uh, little bits of gold, gold plating um, there, but uh, yeah it's only um it's very light plating you know could even be more like flashing than plating but um yeah i just wanted to um give you a heads up on on the value of sim cards and um just wanted you to know to be careful when um if you're buying sim cards like on uh online um be careful because uh they're not actually you know cracked up all that you know they're cracked up to be especially the way people uh, try to sell sim cards um, they're not very clear never clear on what's actually how much gold you're actually going to get they they just basically you know most don't even sell them by weight like by the pound or by the kilo they'll sell them by numbers um, you'll get uh, you know 500 sim cards or 1000 sim cards and it's and it's pretty confusing to to uh, uh, those guys out there that that want to buy SIM cards to try and you know you know process the gold from them. Um, they're thinking, oh, you know, a thousand of anything sounds like a lot, but in with SIM cards, a thousand SIM cards is not much. Um, uh, to give you an example, this pile here, this is one kilo, right? One kilo of SIM cards. So, uh, um, 2.2 pounds of SIM cards. Now, how many SIM cards in one kilo? Well, I can tell you because I counted them. There's, let's, uh, let me just get this out the way. I've just got this on a set of scales. Um, just weighed up at one kilo. Okay. Now. He's one kilo of SIM cards. Right. That, my friends, is one kilo of SIM cards. Okay. There's heaps of them. And you think, wow, you know, like a kilo of SIM cards, there's going to be gold galore in this. Well, in actual fact, I've got a little bit of a breakdown for you. Um, you know, it's it's probably not 100% accurate because every SIM card is a little bit different. I'll give an example. Okay, so you got you can see the you know the gold on on that SIM card, and then you got another SIM card that's um, you can see the, the the gold part is just a little bit wider, a little bit bigger. So not every SIM card is going to be. Um, exactly the same um, so yeah there's a you know obviously the it's all about the all the gold that you see is all the gold that there is there's no real gold underneath it um, and so to process these you don't really even have to remove the the gold off it you can just uh, dip these into your solution however you um, choose to refine um, gold plated stuff and it will just remove the gold off that you don't really have to go to the trouble of removing the actual this uh, sticky gold part because there's nothing really underneath and uh, it's just not worth the time to bother you know you might as well just throw them straight in just like you would throw in um, gold fingers um, and just post them like that but uh, yeah so uh, not every sim you know every, you know there are some sim cards that are slightly bigger in gold panel and uh, so you know the, the my my um, calculations sort of can vary a little bit um, so you'll get a little bit more if you had a kilo of just these compared to a kilo of these um, but uh, um, what was I going to say uh, but whatever um, I can't I've lost my train of thought but anyway so usually um, you know you might get a whole lot of sim cards that are mixed 
but um, if you're getting factory kind of SIM cards from people that can access these from from a factory or whatever, they'll all be the same kind of brand. But um, I do have you know mixed kind of brand from actual mobile phones, and um, yeah, some of these do vary a lot. Like uh, uh, these Vodacom, I've uh, got a bigger one than the the telecom types, and then you got. Uh, um, more Vodafone, there's a smaller Vodafone and you got these ones with the sort of like the global thing, they're a little bit bigger but overall when you're buying them you're usually getting a whole mix you're getting a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, a whole mix of things unless someone's going to be you know a, a clever and uh, they're selling sim cards and they're just going to give you all the little ones but anyway now uh, what this video is about is just um, just to give you a bit of a heads up on going out and buying these on online in auctions and stuff, um, people are you know uh, you're going to get very disappointed if you um, if you buy pay the prices that you see online. I've seen um, 1,000 SIM cards for 100 dollars US, um, and that's not even a pound. Uh, and here's my figures anyway. Uh, Okay, so SIM cards. Okay, we'll start off. I'm in Australia, so I might as well talk to me Australian guys first. So, one kilogram, one kilogram of SIM cards. There's 2,920 SIM cards for one kilo. 2,920. Amazing, isn't it? That's a lot of, a lot of SIM cards just to get one kilo. Okay, and here's... Here's the crunch. One kilogram of SIM cards, on average, will net you 1.5 grams of gold. 1.5 grams of gold for one kilo of SIM cards. Or 1.5 grams of gold for 2,920 SIM cards. Here is 1.5 grams of gold. You know, so it's not much at all. 1.5 grams of gold is worth $75 in Australia, Australian dollars, okay? So, there you go. Now, I, as I said, I've seen guys trying to sell these uh, 1,000 SIM cards for $100 US. Well, all you're going to get out of 1,000 SIM cards is a third of that, okay? Because it takes 2,920 to make a kilo. So all you're buying is about 1,000 SIM cards is about 350 grams, okay? So um, that's the confusing part, and this is how people are trying to shaft people by, by um, you know, rather than giving you weights, like they're not saying, oh, buy a kilo of um, SIM cards for X amount. No, they're going by numbers. And because 1,000 of anything sounds like a lot, people that are, aren't experienced in processing SIM cards, they think, wow, a thousand SIM cards. Well, you're going to be in for a shock when you try and recover, you know, even some of your money back, let alone make a profit. You're not going to make a profit, okay? So if, if you, you want to process SIM cards, if you can get them for free, great. If you can get them for a price that's that works out according to this, great, okay? So if one kilogram of SIM cards will get you $75 after you refine it, Really, you don't want to pay any more than a third of that because you've still got to process it. That will take a third of your value because you've got to use your chemicals and your time and all that. That's got to be worth 25 bucks. And then maybe you'll make $25 profit out of that. So after processing all this and turning that gold into a, a, a little piece of gold, you know, you're going to end up getting $75 worth of gold. So how much do you want to pay for a kilo of uh, SIM cards? You certainly don't want to be paying 75 or even 50. Really, you want to be paying a third of that, about 25. Okay, if you just want to process SIM cards just to for the experience, all right, maybe pay 50. Even pay 75 for a kilo. But that's any more you're 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 losing big time. Okay? Now, for my American buddies, um We'll work it out in pounds and US dollars, okay? So one pound of SIM cards, which is about less than half of this, one pound is 1,327 
SIM cards for one pound, okay? One pound of SIM cards will get you 0.68 grams of gold for one pound. 0.68 grams. Now, 0.68 grams of gold in US, in America, and most of the world, it's $24.50 US dollars. $24.50 for one pound of SIM cards. One pound of SIM cards, $24.50. Or 1,327 SIM cards, $24.50. I see 1,000 SIM cards selling for $100 US. Four times more than the value that you'll actually get out of it. So I want you guys to be careful with buying SIM cards online. Don't go by numbers. Work it out what's, what it is in pounds or kilos, okay? So it takes 1327 SIM cards to make up one pound. So if you're buying 1,000 SIM cards at a go, you're not even going to get one pound. So you're not even going to get $24.50, okay? So, you know, that's all I just wanted to say is, uh, um, you know, uh, I see a lot of stuff that uh, sells on online um, that... Uh, for gold recovery, you know, they, they always put that word gold recovery or scrap gold and, 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 and people just assume that because these guys are selling it or they might have sold um, a few batches that it's actually worth it. It's not. Um, if you get SIM cards for free or you can pay um, a fair price, so in America, one pound, if you see a pound of SIM cards, you know that paying any more than twenty four fifty. You're not going to get your money back at all so even if you just want to process them just for the hell of you know recovering gold from them you know um you know so if you're paying 24.50 for a pound you know you're not going to make any profit out of that in fact you're going to lose your time and you're going to lose a bit of your um, um whatever kind of chemicals or solution that you use you know it all takes time so you know so just just be aware of it you know i'm not saying don't go out and buy don't go and pay hundred dollars for a pound of of sim cards it's up to you but i'm just just giving you a bit of advice on on what you can expect from sim cards in gold recovery okay so one pound of sim cards will get you 0.68 of a gram okay so just over half a gram 24 dollars 50 that's all you're going to get okay all right, so that, that's all I really wanted to talk about. Um, that's one kilogram of SIM cards. Okay, that's... This is two kilograms of SIM cards. So we're talking... Um, what are we talking about? We're talking six, almost 6,000 SIM cards right here. Two kilos. Okay, got some more. SIM cards, right, they're all the same, pretty much, green ones, coloured ones, fancy ones, slightly bigger ones, but don't get excited, this isn't, um, you know, this isn't a gold mine, this sort of stuff, if there is gold, no worries, you'll get it, from here, this is two and a half kilos, of sim cards okay so we're talking about seven and a half thousand sim cards here and um all i'm going to get out of seven thousand five hundred sim cards uh i lost my little paper now probably buried there it is all right from two and a half kilos of sim cards it's it'll be about it's under two hundred dollars for seven and a half thousand sim cards two hundred dollars two and a half kilos okay so buy the kilos one kilo two thousand nine hundred and twenty sim cards one kilo sim cards 1.5 grams of gold 1.5 grams of gold 75 dollars australian okay in america one pound 1327 0.68 grams of gold 24 dollars 50 that's it now this is basically average <laughs> if you had um if you had these bigger ones instead of these smaller ones if they're all these big ones well okay you might add add a little bit more this might get around 30 dollars per pound but that's all you're going to really get 
Um, I, I, I challenge anyone to prove to me that you get any more gold than what I've just said because um, you know I've, I've been to um, forums gold refining forum and other places gold refining forum they don't even they don't even say you get that much you know they reckon per kilo you get even less than that you know not even a gram of gold you know but um, I'm going from I'm using averages from a whole different uh, range of sources and so it's not the highest but it's about this is a good a good good thing to um, work on okay and that's it so that's sim cards guys so um, you know if you're picking up mobile phones and you you take out sim cards out of mobile phones sure keep them put them aside build up a stack um, if you get to find them cheap or um, you know from uh, telephone dealers or um, even better sim card manufacturers they might give you a whole heap of them for for very cheap because they know how much gold they've put into them you know and a lot of this you know it wouldn't surprise me if uh, a lot of these aren't plating they're just uh, gold flashed and so that's even less so um yeah so don't be fooled by sim cards that's all i wanted to talk about you know but you know um they're quite fun to play with but that's all pretty much um this uh seven and a half thousand sim cards here is about luckily get two hundred dollars not even probably 180 bucks um seven thousand five hundred that's a lot of sim cards so so yeah that's all i wanted to say guys Alrighty. keep scrapping have fun check us out at scrap forum if you want to say hello um or uh, just comment on on this channel and um yeah and i uh, have to uh come up with some other informative videos to um to share with you okay until then ciao